to their guy. Hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. A kick in a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. Dalvin Cook. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Right at the line of scrimmage. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. nothing on that last run they'll try again second and ten from the shotgun it's Cousins Looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph, and it's third down. Third One down. thing that offensive and guys down. stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Here's Cousins. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Cousins to his tight end Rudolph for a Viking first down. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Hands to Dalvin Cook. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. To throw is Cousins. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be intercepted. T.J. Green with the pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. He was five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five at the 42-yard line. Again, it's Smith. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Mike Hughes brought him down. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Up a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe 
seriously have to think about going for. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of a man. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it, get the first down, close it out. And the they're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Now it's Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. Touchdown, Falcons! Julio Jones, 47 yards, and the Falcons have taken the lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. score, Falcons 17, Vikings 10. Sterling Hoffrichter to kick off for the Falcons. Now following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. Now Abdullah, the return. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Down 10 at their own 21-yard line. now to start their next drive and they've sort of lost their way partner how do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track and this is where leadership really comes into play how's the head coach handling it the offensive coordinator sometimes they just make a joke all right guys and you're fine all right throwing out the window yeah let's get back on track here and sometimes that'll work just fine i guess it's time now to lean on that leadership where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. And they're getting out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. Party, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's caught. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five at the Falcons, 47. Now look to throw. Nine time to a slot. And a crusher there as it's intercepted. Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee. out it's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah think about the team that just got vanquished they did score in the
the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. 